Okay, so one of the properties we learned of addition was the associative property. And it says we can group numbers together. And we can also do that with multiplication. So 2 times 3 times 4 and 2 times 3 times 4. I'm going to put parentheses around the 3 times 4 over here. I'm going to put parentheses around the 2 times 3. And that basically just says that two I have to do what's in the parentheses first. So 2 times 3 equals 6. And then I still have this times 4. And I know that 6 times 4 equals 24. Well, over here, I'm going to do what's inside these parentheses first. 3 times 4 is 12. 2 times 12. And again, I know that equals 24. It didn't matter where I put the parentheses and group the numbers. It didn't matter. Okay, so, but on your homework today... You're going to see long addition sentences, okay? Or not the addition, multiplication sentences. You're going to see things like 4 times 3 times 6. Now, when you have these and they're only multiplication, what's nice is we just go from left to right. We just go from left to right. So we go 4 times 3 equals 12 times 6 equals, then I can come over here and go 12 times 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 1 is 6, plus 1 is 7, and that's 72. I'm just going to go from left to right, okay? Do I always have to go from left to right? Not always, but that's a way you can do it, okay? I can also say, let's say I have... 6 times 2 times 3. And I look at this and I say, wait, I know what this is. I know what 3 times 2 is. That's easy in my head. So I'm going to do those ones first. 6 times 2 times 3 is just 6. And then I can multiply those out. And I know that 6 times 6 is 36. Either way, okay? When you have long lines of uh, a long multiplication sentence, it doesn't matter which order you multiply in. Okay? Let's say I have 2 times 3 times 5 times 4. Maybe I know that I know that 2 times 5, I know that's 10. And I like 10s. So now I'm going to go 10, but I haven't multiplied these two, times 3, times 4. Wait. I know that 10 times 3 is just 30. times 4, and I could come over here and go 30 times 4, 4 times 0 is 0, 4 times 12, or 3 is 12, the answer is 120. Okay, so anytime you have these long lines and they're just multiplication, you can just start from the left and move your way across. Or you can find other ones that you think might be easier. Like on this one, I thought that, I, that the 5 and the 2 would be easier to multiply because it made a 10. But you don't have to. If you want, you can just go right across. Okay? And I'll even show you how if I just go right across to the last thing I do, we're still going to get the same answer as 120. Okay? So, 2 times 3 is 6, times 5, times 4. <gasps> 6 times 5 is 30 times 4. And guess what? 30 times 4 was the one we just did. 4 times 0 is 0. 4 times 3 is 12. 120. Did it matter what order I did it in? No. Did it matter which ones I grouped? No. So when you have your homework tonight, and it's asking you to multiply these long ones like this, just know it doesn't matter what order you do it in, and you can just go from left to left. 
to right. Five minutes gone.